So today we are going to discuss or to know about what is Nadi Pariksha. So we all know about Nadi Pariksha is one of the Ashtavit Pariksha which is explained in our Ayurveda science. It reflects the imbalance of dosha, dhatu and mala and mind in our Nadi. So we can do easily the diagnosis of any dosha that is imbalance happen in the mind and body and also the prognosis that is the sadhya sadhya work of any vyadi. So what is the diagnosis? Uh, as we know that Ayurveda is not considering only about the body but we are considering about the mind and soul too. So the imbalance in the physical, mental and the emotional level we can it can be reflected and we can percept it from the Nadi Pariksha. So how we can do the Nadi Pariksha that we as our Acharyas are given that the in the Charak Sushrut Vagbhat the Nadi Pariksha is, is only mentioned but not given but about the Nadi the references are from Sharandar Sahita, Yogh Ratnakar, Bhav Prakash and then the Ravana Krut Nadi. So, Along with that, there are many commentators on this through which we are having the Nadi Jnana, the Nadi Pariksha Jnana and also we can use it in our daily practice. So, the, uh, there are some texts which are available in that one the Satyadev Vasishtha is one of the book that we have referred to do this Nadi Pariksha. So, what is this Nadi? These are the vibrations we can feel which as the blood is flowing through the arteries and there are some vibrations they are not only because of the blood flow but about as per our science it is the dosha they are moving through the nadi and we can percept it so the subtle vibration that we can read at the nadi at the seven different levels as we go deeper and deeper when we press the nadi we get more and more knowledge about the dosha, sabdosha, vikruti, prakruti, dhatu, everything from the Nadi Pariksha. So where we do this Nadi Pariksha? So what is the site? There are many sites given in the Nadi for the Nadi Pariksha. But as, as our convenience and convenience of the doctor and the patient too, we mainly prefer the Nadi Pariksha to do at the wrist. That means at the base of the thumb. For the ladies, as we, are, we know about the Yoga Shastra too, we are having the Ida and Pingala balance. Uh, the Nadi is there in, present in our body. So the Ida Nadi is more prominent, which is from the left, which flows from the left side and more prominent in female. So we do the Nadi Pariksha of the left hand in females and in the right hand for the male, for the male patients. So when to do this Nadi Pariksha? What is the perfect time to do it? As per the Acharyas have given that the early morning that is the empty stomach and all the urges we have all the mala, mala pravritti is there. After that when the body is detoxified we can do the Nadi Pariksha to get the perfect knowledge of Nadi that means the imbalance of dosha which is present in the body. But it is not possible practically to do every patient to do the Nadi Pariksha in the morning time. We can do Nadi Pariksha at any time of the day but we have to consider some dimensions like Vaya, Kala, Ahar Kala, Vyayam when we are doing this Nadi Pariksha. So what we perceive from the Nadi, when we are touching the Nadi we can feel some vibrations to our fingers. Now how we do Nadi Pariksha that we know when we, we use our three fingers index finger, middle finger and the ring finger and we put it on the wrist joint just one finger below the thumb the root of the thumb and we gently press it and we palpate it and now we concentrate how the nadi is moving what is its bala which finger could perceive the nadi whether it is palpable to all the three fingers yes or no and how it moves so this is the ideal procedure or the scientific way to do the Nadi Pariksha. Now what we perceive from this Nadi that is the Dosha Vikruti that means the imbalance or vitiated Dosha, Upadosha, organ level Vikruti which Avaya is vitiated that also we can get acknowledged by the Nadi Pariksha. 
अग्नि व्याधि बल रुग्ण बल सामान्य गुण विच वी हैव वी शुड कंसिडर वेन वी आर डूइंग नाड़ी परीक्षा एज द गुण एंड दोषा आर लिविंग टुगेदर एंड एवरी दोषा इज हैविंग स्पेसिफिक गुण दैट इज शारीरिक गुण विच आर डिस्क्राइब इन आवर आयुर्वेदा विच आर ट्वेंटी एंड टेन इन पेयर्स वन वन इज अपोजिट टू अदर लाइक गुरु एंड लघु तीक्ष्ण एंड मंद स्निग्ध वृक्ष मृदु कठिन स्थूल एंड सूक्ष्म दिस गुण ऑल्सो वी कैन पालपेट और दैट ऑल्सो रिफ्लेक्ट इन द नाड़ी अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस गुण वी आर गोइंग टू डू द डायग्नोसिस दैट विच दोषा इज विशिएटेड बिकॉज वी नो दिस गुण आज आर प्रेजेंट विथ दोषा नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू को रिलेटेड दैट नाड़ी इज हैविंग दिस गुण सो विच दोषा इज विशिएटेड और विच दोषा इज इन बैलेंस स्टेट so along with this physical state of the uh, is presentable or we can perceive from the nadi also we can perceive the psychological factors like stress and the thought process so i have told you that i have told you that now we can uh, do the nadi pariksha in any time of the day but what we have to consider is first the kala at what time of the day we know the biological clock which is described by ayurveda that early in the morning the there is kapha kala that is 6 to 10 am is a kapha kala 10 to 2 pm is pitta kala 2 to 6 again uh, there is vata kala again there is kapha vata and pitta in the night time so when we are going to do the nadi pariksha we have to consider which dosha is predominant at this time of the day or night then only we can get the correct knowledge of the vitiated dosha along with the dosha uh, along with the kala we have to consider about the season that is rutu now we know as per the rutu our dosha gets sanchay prakop and prasar so which is the rutu whether it is a vasanta rutu which is a kapha prakop kal we are going to do shodhana for the patient so this rutu the kapha will be more provoked so whether we are the kapha nadi is palpable is this a swastha nadi or because of the rutu it is there so we have to consider about the rutu also that in if vasanta is there and kapha nadi is more palpable so this is because of the effect of the rutu same way when there is sharad rutu that is pitta prakop is there and the pitta nadi is more palpable or it is having the gati gati of the nadi is disturbed so we can say that there is a utklesha or prakop avastha of the nadi if you want to learn nadi or more know the more changes of the nadi the very uh, ideal state or when we are doing panchakarma detoxification or shodhana of a patient at that time daily there is the sanchay and prakop avastha so this is the ideal time when we can do the nadi and perceive and feel it so also the vaya vaya is very important parameter that we know in the balya avastha kapha kal is there madhyam vaya is pitta and in the vrudha avastha is vata so your patient is of what age that nadi will be more palpable in that patient so we can't say that in the vrudha the vata nadi is more palpable that means it is suffering with vata disease no because of vata kal the vata will get provoked and if the gati is changed if the pitta and kapha are also vitiated or they are vitiating vata then we can say that the disease is of vata so we have to consider about the vaya also then vyayama if someone is coming to you from gym so they are having very vigorous respiration their nadi is very fast so we can't say that this nadi is vegavati it is because they did the vyayama so the nadi is vegavati so we have to consider the vegavati nadi is having we say that when the nadi is nirama it is lagu it is vegavati so it is having less number of toxins less ama but if the per, for that reason the person should come to you in a in a state when there is no vyayama they are in a calm state and you are doing the nadi pariksha along with that the aahar sevan whether the person is hungry whether they had food for how long time that uh, just 2 hours before 
they had the food or four hours earlier they had the food according to that also the vata vata pitta kapha kal starts that we know that before taking any food is kapha kal when the digestion is going on till the time after 2 hours is pitta kal and after 4 hours the vata kal comes that's why the ideal state is the empty stomach in the early in the morning but patient is coming to you after having food we have to consider these points if the digestion is going on then you can feel the tikshanata you can feel the agni is higher you can feel pitta nadi but which is because of the digestion is going on not because of the vitiated pitta prakruti is very important part we know we can find out prakruti with the questionnaire based in our nadi tarikini software we are having the questionnaire based prakruti so we, with that one if you ask correct questions in a correct way then you can get a perfect prakruti of that patient so prakruti is also very important like kapha prakruti is there then you might not feel kapha nadi because it is the healthy state of that patient the, you can't feel the kapha nadi but the kapha patient is vitiated with kapha dosha or any symptoms are related with kapha vitiation you can feel the kapha nadi that's why we have to consider all these parameters together again when we palpate the nadi we can find out the rugra bala so we know the vyadhi bala is there that means how old is the vyadhi how much the dosha is vitiated we call it as a vyadhi bala but what is the immunity or what is the prakruti of the patient that means that is the rugra bala now we know as the rugra bala is considered as per the prakruti pitta prakruti has having a strong bala kapha prakruti is having moderate and the vata prakruti is having very less bala and also very important that when we are considering all these parameters we must consider about the lakshana that is symptoms the patient is telling to us so which dosha is having vruddhi avastha which dosha is vitiated we can find out it from the lakshana and nadi is going to give a correct direction for our diagnosis now as i told you that the samanya guna or sharir guna are present in our body the same guna are present in the dosha so always correlate this dosha the sharir guna of the dosha and the nadi then only you can do the correct nadi pariksha and find out which dosha is vitiated and to do the correct diagnosis of that vyadhi that means our science is not having the diagnosis like only say prameha so prameha is not the disease or the nidana as per our science we do it as a pitta ja prameha kapha ja prameha vata ja prameha we don't do the diagnosis just like shwasa asthama we don't do like that we know as per the dosha it is different whether it is tamak shwasa where it is santamak pratamak so according to that we are doing the diagnosis so always we have to consider the guna of the vitiated dosha so here we are having the nadi tarikini which is a very effective diagnostic tool of the nadi pariksha which we are having and which the the work has going on for the last 13 years that we are collecting the data we have analyzed it and now we are have with this for the la, in, for the last one and a half year we have launched this nadi tarikini and many doctors are using satisfactorily with this uh, device to make their diagnosis better and better thank you